If I was asked to recommend a couch co-op game, my first pick would be Army of Two, which is what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. Starting with the first game in the series, Army of Two for the PS3. The first time I played this game was on an Xbox 360 at my friend's house. Uh, he had the game and he got me to try it. Now needless to say, I was almost instantly hooked. I say almost instantly because it took me a while to get used to the Xbox controller. Uh, the Xbox 360 controller. Anyway, I loved the co-op gameplay and also the weapon customization feature. I personally think that playing co-op with a friend is a much, much better experience than playing this game alone and relying on the AI because as far as I can remember, the, I, the AI in this game isn't the best. And yeah, I probably raged at the AI, you know, once or twice and that was enough to not, you know, play this game alone. So. Anyway, I decided to buy this game for the PS3 and yeah, here it is. So yeah, as you can see here, it is an EA game, uh, but I think this is before they got greedy and all that. Anyway, I'm not here to criticize and, you know, the publisher or, or developer. So as you can see, I have kept this game in what I would think is a near perfect condition. Uh, so if we open it up, right inside we have the PS3 Blu-ray disc, as you can see here. Uh, you also get a, a nice thick booklet, and um, inside the booklet, let's see, got a um, it's it's a couple of pages long, so it's it's uh, you can tell it's pretty good. So the first page is just you know the precautions, health warning, and all that. Um, second page have got the contents and how to set it up, as you can see there. And there's the old uh, PS3 control controller. Uh, you've got the basic controls again, additional controls. Uh, play the game, the game screen itself, there you go. It is black and white, so it's a bit hard to see. Uh, you've got the objectives, the aggro meter, the weapons, uh, inventory wheel, partner order wheel, cop call wheel, saving and loading usual, and all the, all the different game modes. Um, <clears throat> and you know, obviously cop. you can either do private or public cop. And online play, you know, hints and tips, and yeah, an empty page and all the customer service numbers. I don't know if anyone has actually used these customer service numbers, but anyway. Oh, by the way, uh, because this game came out in early 2008, it didn't have trophies or achievements or anything like that. When trophies were implemented, this game was not patched, which I think is a shame. Nevertheless, I still played this game multiple times back then, and every time I play, it's, it's always a blast. So there it is, Army of Two, uh, the first game in the series. On to the second game in the series, Army of Two, the 40th day. Again, for the PS3. And yeah, this is still a great cop, couch cop game if you haven't tried it. Um, there's the back, as you can see there. Right, there's the front. Now, this game comes with trophies, unlike the previous title, uh, because this one came out in, I believe, 2010. Um, however, if you just started playing this game, then unfortunately you're out of luck because as far as I know the servers are closed so there's no way to obtain the Platinum Trophy anymore. So if you're a Trophy Hunter, <clears throat> Platinum Trophy Hunter especially, yeah, sorry. And this is also why I think online trophies should be abolished. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look inside. So inside you get the, there it is, the PS3 uh, Blu-ray disc, uh, and again, the, you know, uh, another booklet. There's also a, a flyer here uh, for Army of Two. And on the back, uh, Dante's Inferno. Right. Um, <clears throat> right, what's in the uh, booklet? So, the booklet itself, usual system controls, uh, sorry, control con contents, um, how to set it up, uh, complete controls, Shanghai Surprise, saving and loading, Playing the game, morality and cop choices. Uh, I believe the morality and cop choices, that's that's a new feature in, in, uh, in the 40th day. Uh, and then you've got mass GPS, combats, aggro, weaponry, inventory wheel, uh, you know, shopping and upgrades and all that. Um, yeah, taking prisoners, partner order wheel. And it looks like the, the partner order wheel, this one here, that's been expanded as well. Um, it's got, you've got more... Uh, control more access to what your uh, partner can do. Uh, there's co-op moves as well as you can see there. Back to back, hostage grab, step jump, etc. Uh, you have a mask 
an armor creator, uh, put custom emblems, right, and usual online play and all that. Warranty, customer support, uh, empty pages, and, and all that. So yeah, that's the um, yeah that's Army of Two, the fortieth day. Finally, the last game in the series, Army of Two, the Devil's Cartel for again the PS3. Personally, this game is a huge step down from the previous two titles, uh, and I'm pretty sure this is a failure for EA. Yes, it's a great co uh, couch co-op game, but as far as I know, and as far as I can remember, several co-op features were removed from the game, which made the first two titles memorable. So, you know, no more back-to-back -back and all that. Also, uh, you no longer play as the original characters from the first two games, which is also a shame. In terms of trophies and obtaining the Platinum Trophy, uh, for this game it's still doable. There are no trophies that require online play, as far as I know. Uh, so if you're a Platinum Trophy Hunter, get this game. Uh, it's fairly easy, as far as I know. Not that I have the Platinum Trophy myself, but you know, you know, who knows. One day I might revisit the game again. Um, yeah. Right, if we open it up, right, <laughs> yeah, again, it's also a letdown. Uh, there's a, obviously a disc. Because it doesn't come with an actual booklet. Instead, it comes with what appears to be the contents of a booklet minus the front and back cover. Right, there it is. And, yeah, <laughs> what's the point of that? I mean, yeah, you know, for me, it, it's, it's such a waste. Because, uh, you know, the first two had, had um, booklets. This one is just that. And you could have... Um, I don't know, condense this into just a one, one page, one printout page. And uh, the other thing that you get is also this um, DLC code uh, to activate your online pass uh, to access online co-op features, um, which uh, again, I never use because for me, co-op means couch co-op, not online co-op. So. Yeah, if, if you've never played um, Army of Two or any of the games in the series, oops, I recommend you do. I strongly recommend you find a copy, uh, especially if you, like I said, especially if you love co-op games, because this is, uh, it's for me, it's an underrated gem. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all in the next video.